Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today. Where today I am going to be making a nice slow cooked Portuguese meat dish called El Catra. It's a very easy dish. Basically it's like a pot roast. But I'm going to be doing mine in a slow cooker. Um, just to start with I'm just um, been sort of sauteing a few of my ingredients that are going to go into the slow cooker. So I've got here a 1kg piece and I'm actually using Brahmin hump here which some of you might have saw I used recently to make a um, Nepalese dish and it was absolutely delicious so I've got a 1kg piece of Brahmin hump here and all I'm doing is just been browning it I've sold it but liberally, seasoned it liberally and just browning it on each side and prior to that I'll just show you in here probably can't see down the bottom there's some anyway trust me there's some bacon down there as well so I've sorted sort of just large three rashes of bacon which I cut into fairly large pieces I took them out once they were cooked I've uh, then put in one onion and I've thrown in a few whole spices so I threw in a quarter teaspoon of black peppercorns um, one cinnamon stick some bay leaves and about six whole cloves and you know, I just thought I'd add them with the onion and yeah that's what I've got here, taking all that off, ready to go into our slow cooker as well. So we're nearly there, ready to start it. Just waiting for this last side to brown up a bit. And this hump, and it's getting close. Now this fry pan's got lots of nice sort of... Um, uh, uh, what they call a fond, you know, the little burnt bits and that where um, we've been sauteing. So into my slow cook, I'm also going to be putting two cups of red wine, but what I might do is deglaze this with that wine first to get all that nice flavour. So get ready for a big sizzle. Okie dokie, so I've just got my slow cooker out, ready to go, um, or crock pot, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to put in that onion, garlic and whole herb mix. Um, garlic. I'm going to sort of get it sitting over the bottom, like so. Now into that, I've just got here 140 grams, a little tiny tub of... Um, tomato paste that can go in along with one tablespoon of ground allspice a bit more salt be generous with that Get our wine in there. Give that a little stir up. Just dissolve that paste in with the wine. Don't have to go too crazy. This is going to be cooking for a long time. Like all day. Probably about eight hours. Get our piece of Brahmin hump in there. And that's it guys, I'm going to get that going and uh, yeah, we'll catch you a bit later in the day.
Alrighty guys, so I've got a plate of my Alcatra here, served up. Now I just need to let you know, um, in that slow cooker, I said it was going to take about 8 hours, but my slow cooker is so, my crock pot is so slow, it actually took, yeah, closer to about 10 hours to get that um, Brahmin hump really nice and tender. So that's alright, no worries at all. Just, um, yeah, but my goodness, <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying it. So we're just going to get a little plateful here. As you can see, I've just served it with some spuds. Um, see if we can see that up close. The Brahmin hump is just such a beautiful texture of meat and it will go so well with those flavours, the wine, you know, all the things that were in it. Let's just taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Ah, it's so nice. <laughs> so delicious. You can taste those. Ah, oh, yum. The spices, you know, that went into it. Um, the pepper. The um, allspice. Oh, my goodness, that's good. The bay leaf. Very, very yummy. Alrighty, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. You guys are awesome. I, I keep saying it, and I keep meaning it. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, can I just ask you to hit that subscription button? That'd be great. Um, yeah, be awesome. But if you don't want it, no worries. And I will see you all next time.